This is James Kahn, the guy on the bike, and today we're down here on the west coast of Williamsburg and we're going to try to get in and see the Kara Walker show. Oh, is it directly ahead? I'm going to have to sign a waiver. Okay, at the behest of creative time, Kara E. Walker has confected a subtlety or the marvelous sugar baby. Now we're entering the main exhibition hall for the show. Wow, this is uh, one of these fantastic uh, industrial spaces. Now I'm kind of late to this. Uh, a lot of people have already been here and commented. And uh, I guess this is one of the molasses babies they were talking about it's kind of a, an ancillary piece to what is over here is the the main feature I've seen uh, photographs of this piece but I have to say that uh, seeing it in real life is uh, it's quite impressive and uh, also, <laughs> it's only a co-star with the space itself. Uh, this is quite a really unbelievable, almost uh, science fiction-like industrial space. You know? No, I'm not sure. They think they were saying something like they were 50 tons of sugar. Uh, she had a crew of, I don't know, maybe a couple of dozen people working with this, working with her on this. And, uh, well, I would say this has probably got to be uh, 70, 80 feet long and, uh, oh, maybe 45, 50 feet tall. And uh, I guess this space is probably big enough and uh, old enough that there are probably holes in the roof and so during the recent rainstorms it's probably been dripped on quite a bit. This is one of the features of the sculpture that has gotten some attention. And uh, I don't know, this actually makes me think of uh, some of the Nana pieces by Nikki Sanfala where she did the giant uh, women sculptures where you could actually walk in and out of their <laughs> the vagina and I, kind of a experience of being reborn. Just from a purely formalistic uh, view, this is uh, got some very nice sensual curves. Although, uh, well, maybe it's only the hot and tights that have the the buttocks that is quite that uh, curve. Also, a great place to take a selfie. <laughs> Well, I didn't count them, but I guess there's maybe a dozen of these smaller figures around. And these are called the Banana Boys. And it's 
some of them are falling apart and you can see the there's a metal armature on the inside and I guess these are actually cast sugar candy and uh, Kara comes in maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks and coats them with more syrup and uh, puts brown sugar on them but the, the dissolving of these pieces is part of the natural decrepitude of the piece. Mm. And you can smell the sweetness, smell the syrup. It would be interesting to know exactly how this uh, size-wise would measure up against the Sphinx in Egypt. There's been a lot of people that have been commenting about this piece. Uh, an art blogger, Carol Deal Dial. She did kind of a uh, <laughs> Hans Hacke uh, critique of the piece in which uh, she didn't so much talk about the aesthetic qualities of the actual artwork as she did kind of tracing the uh, dubious political and financial um, partnerships of the people that were backing this, particularly the Domino Sugar people. And uh, strangely enough, uh, she was able to link the Domino people up with a couple of, uh, I think they were Dominican sugar magnets who had links to everything from the KKK to some kind of neo-Nazi group, but uh, I'm not really interested in that kind of stuff because uh, it's, it's like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Anybody could be attached to anything if you dig far enough. Uh, I am interested in the kind of the aesthetic part of this and uh, gosh, this is an incredible piece. Now, I guess the actual structure is uh, hollow styrofoam and uh, it's been commented here. You can even look up here and see that uh, although this has only been open to the public maybe a month and a half or so that uh, you can start to see the seams and uh, I guess this will eventually be torn down and uh, it'll all disintegrate. Actually, I like that. It's kind of like uh, blocks of marble or uh, some of the th seams you would have in uh, one of these other monumental pieces. I think one of the other critiques, criticisms of not only this piece, but a lot of Kara's work is the of playing up and uh, valorizing the sexual aspect of things, you know, the kind of uh, voluptuous and available breasts. For my own uh, particular take, this uh, it's very impressive. It's actually something on that that scale has a certain kind of dignity that uh, it's impossible to ignore. You know, one of the uh, the other issues that has been brought up a lot is Williamsburg is has been quite a well-known and uh, long-lasting art community with lots of artist studios and within the last 10 years or so the real estate developers have changed the the feel of the neighborhood the uh, economic enclave that is there and uh, I would say that it is va a valid point to uh, 
consider exactly how this piece um, functioned as a well a part of the plan for the the destruction of this planet and its conversion into uh, high-rise luxury condos that uh, virtually no artists can afford and uh, I wonder if you could uh, think that uh, Kara Walker is being used as some kind of inoculation for the arts community so that they they would have a much harder time complaining about the development this is James Calm here at the Williamsburg Domino Sugar Refinery Just taking a look at this huge piece by Carol Walker Thank you, Kate. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.